After you watch the movie, you're going to get your plane storage kit from the flight storage area. Make sure you grab the one that says your period name and your station number. Always write your name and period on the motor stick and on the piece of paper. The flight station is set up so that you can keep all of your supplies and workspace neat and clean. Place the flight storage bin up at the top and place the flight plan where it says flight plan here. All of the work will be done right on the flight plan. The very first thing you should do is take the motor stick out and write your name and period on it. The next step will be to get your supplies out of the baggie and to inventory them. Pour them all out in the box. Be gentle because some of them are very fragile. The baggie can be recycled in the recycle box. Make sure you also write your name and period on the paper covering plan. The very first thing you should do is look at the flight inventory sheet. There's a picture of it in the book. And there's also a list on your worksheet of all the parts that you should have. Take all of your parts and inventory them in order. You can check the pieces by holding them up to the flight inventory sheet in the book. Every single piece is important so don't lose any of them or use them to spread glue around or to wipe glue off of something. There should be a little glue cup at your station. Put one or two drops of glue in the cup. Do not fill it up with glue. If you need more, you can always get more glue. But do not fill the cup up. Make sure you put the lid back on the glue. If there's any glue on the tip, wipe it off first so it doesn't dry. Then put the lid back on the glue. Keep all of your pieces nice and organized in the box. Do not leave them laying on the bench. The first thing you'll build is the horizontal stabilizer. That's the back horizontal wing of the plane. Get out all the pieces you need first. They're set up by color. And using a little piece of tape, tape down just one of the blue sticks. Make sure it all lines up exactly on the plan. Now, dip each stick, the yellow and the brown sticks, in the glue. You want the glue just on the very end of the stick. You do not want big puddles of glue. Now set them in place. The next step is to slide the second blue stick into place. Make sure it lines up with both of the brown or both of the yellow sticks and the brown stick. So now you're going to push it down against those sticks and then use the tape to hold it in place. Do not tape everything first and then glue it. Tape the first blue stick down glue the other pieces in place, push the other blue stick down, and use the tape to hold it together.
The next part you'll be building is the vertical stabilizer. That's the wing that goes up and down on the back of the plane. You need the four yellow sticks and the rudder, the piece of paper that says rudder on it. Once again, tape just one stick down into place. That'll hold it together so it doesn't move while you're gluing the rest of the sticks in place. Now take the other two yellow sticks and put glue on both ends of them. Then slide the other yellow stick in place and tape it down. The last part we'll be building is the main wing. There's a right half and a left half to the main wing. First, get all your parts. You're going to be using the red sticks, not the black sticks, but the red sticks. You'll need two for each wing, and you'll also need the two green sticks for each wing. You should have five total green sticks. There'll be one left over, and you'll need it later on. Just like before, you'll be taping down one of the red sticks, gluing the two green sticks into place, and then sliding the other red stick down and putting some tape on it. Make sure all the corners line up perfectly. The next thing you'll be assembling is the ribs. The ribs are what give the airfoil, the wing, the proper shape so that the wing gets lift as it goes through the air. You'll notice on the ribs that there's kind of a fat part in the front and a skinny part in the back. Be very gentle when you're taking the ribs out of the die cut card. They go on the wings all the same direction, so they should all be pointing the same exact direction. You need four of them for right now to go onto the wings and you'll use the other two later on as you're building the wing. Just put a little bit of glue on your finger and then wipe it on the bottom of the wing. Make sure you get plenty up at the front of the wing and plenty at the back of the wing and then add some to the middle of the wing as well. A little goes a long way so you don't need to gob on a ton of glue. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. It's just glue. It'll wash off. Make sure the top of the rib lines up with the top of the wing and the bottom of the rib lines up with the bottom of the wing. When you do the other three ribs, they need to be going the same direction as the first rib. If you need more glue, you can always put another drop in the little bucket. Occasionally, you'll have a rib that breaks. If you break one of the ribs, hold on to it because you can still use it. The last two ribs that you're going to use get glued together to make a big fat rib. So you're going to glue those two ribs together side by side. If one of them happens to be broken, glue the broken rib to the good rib and you'll never know that it was broken. When you're gluing the wing together, you want to make sure you don't have big puddles of glue because then it's really hard to take it off of the table and it also those puddles of glue can get in the way when you're gluing the other parts on. Here's a side view of the ribs. You can see that this rib is glued a little too far forward so it's sticking over the piece of wood. You don't want that to happen. You want it to stick up right to the edge of the wood in the front and in the back. 
On this one, you can tell that they didn't glue it all the way down, and there's a little gap right there. Once it's dry, you're going to peel all this tape. Now that it's dry, you're going to take all the tape off of the pieces of wood, and then gently pull up on the pieces that you've made. Very gently. You do not want to break the wood or break the glue joints. Put all your tape in a pile because you're going to be throwing it away later. Next, get all of your pieces together. You're going to be gluing the two wings together in a V shape to create the dihedral. These are the dihedral cards. You'll be getting them from the storage box next to the area where you recycle the baggies. The dihedral cards help the wings to dry at just the right angle, just the right dihedral angle. You're going to glue these two wings together first, so just dip the edges in the glue lightly. You just want a tiny bit of glue so that these two edges glue to the other edges. They should line up fairly well, but if they're off by just a tiny bit, it's okay. Glue them together the best that you can. Notice the two halves are glued together. This is the tricky part. That last green stick that you have has to be glued in between the two ribs, or the two wing halves. You have to do this gently, and you have to make sure that it lines up right in the middle. Your two halves of your wing should be touching each other, and then the green stick should be in between the two halves. Next, we're going to take our two ribs that we glued together and put glue on the bottom of them. Make sure you get plenty of glue at the front and the back, and then smear some in the middle as well. This is going to go right on top of the green stick. You have to make sure that it's going the right direction to match the other ribs as well. Double check the front and the back to make sure that it's all lined up. Push down gently. Make sure that half of the rib is touching one side of the wing and the other half is touching the other side of the wing and that there's glue underneath it. This helps keep the wing together. It should be right up to the very tip of the wing in the front and go all the way to the back of the wing in the back. This is critical. The next step is to let the wing dry. So gently slide the plain plan back into the box. Make sure when you put it away in the cabinet it doesn't fall over. Once it's Once dry, it's dry to do the next step is, is to put, put the black, black support sticks, sticks, black sticks through the little notches here. in the ribs. Remember, there's two and ribs that were glued together in the middle. On this side, so this will go into over half here, and the other on half one side, and the other there. half on the other side. Start from the middle and work your way to the outside of the rib. A little bit of glue. 
Put a little bit of glue in each little Just notch. There. There. And then yeah. set the black stick into yeah, the notch. Goes. The black stick goes in flat. Not standing straight up, but way. flat. Now the easiest way to do this. Now the easiest push. way to make sure it fits in there is to pinch it. Pinch it. Don't push down. Don't push down pinch. with your finger. Pinch between your thumb and your finger. Same thing with this one. Now move yeah. to the middle rib and pinch the black support pinch. stick into place. Pinch, pinch, pinch. And then go into the last rib and pinch, pinch the black pinch, support pinch. stick on into place. Right here. Flat on the top. It should here. be flat on the top and not sticking flat. up at all. Flat and on the edge okay as well. If a little bit sticks it's out. Okay, if a little bit of it sticks out past the end. Take the other side. The next step is to cut out the plain covering plan. You're going to be cutting along the dotted lines. If you look closely at the sheet, you'll notice that one side is kind of curved and one side is straight. The curved side is the inside of the wing. So the curved side goes into the middle, the straight side goes to the outside. If you look on your plan it says curved side. I suggest writing a little dot on the curved side so when you cut it out you can see that that's the curved side and it goes towards the center. So take a little You're going to take a little finger, bit of glue like and rub it along the, the rib support, the black out. stick. Very little glue. And then also rub some along each of the ribs. Right so there. the center rib, the one in the middle, and the one on the end. First, make sure your hands have no glue on them. Then place the wing paper covering on top of the wing, making sure the curved side is towards the center. Make sure all everything's touching and that there's no wrinkles in the wing. So now you're going to fold over those edges. It might help to let it dry for a few minutes, so go ahead and do the other side next. Rub a little glue on each of the wing ribs and a little bit of glue on that black stick in the center. Now put the wing aside to let it dry for just a couple of minutes. We'll start on the horizontal and vertical stabilizer. Once again, just rub a little glue on the sticks using your finger and then place the wing covering on that area. Make sure you smooth it out so there's no wrinkles. Last, we have to cut out the rudder. The rudder is what steers the plane on the rear vertical stabilizer. Cut it along the dotted lines and then glue it right where it says glue flap to the back of the horizontal stabilizer.
Now let's go back to finishing that wing. Put a little bit of glue on the edge of the wing and fold the flap over. You just have to put a very thin coating on the paper and on the piece of wood and then roll the edges over. They won't stick the first time you roll them over. So just keep pushing it over until it sticks. You might have to do it three or four times. Keep pushing it over and over and over and over until it's all smoothed out and there's no bubbles or wrinkles. You shouldn't have any wrinkles on the plane, and everything should be glued together completely. The last step is to glue the two rubber band mounts onto the plane. These get glued onto the wing so they are sticking halfway on and halfway off, and they go flat. They do not stick up. Place a little bit of glue on the edge of the wing and then glue the rubber band mount so it's sticking halfway off. Notice that there on the motor stick there's a side that's flat and there's a side that curves up. I put some little marks on the side that curves up. This is where you're going to glue the horizontal stabilizer to the motor stick.